Whoa, this is when you know it's 2019, when you're at a music festival and Postmates pickup is an option. I, I can't even believe that's a real thing. That's that's crazy. <laughs> wow. So, you already know, my name is Edmund, and this is another vlog. So if you're here to find out what happened with Drake getting booed off the stage at Camp Flogna, then go ahead and skip to the end of the video. I'm gonna put the timestamp in the description. Feel free to just jump right on over there and listen to my thoughts, the thoughts of someone who was there as an attendee for the festival. Then yeah, feel free to do that. Otherwise, let's find out what happened in the rest of the day leading up to the event, so. Stay tuned. <laughs> we were on our way to Camp Flogna just now, but we decided to take an impromptu trip. We haven't had food, decided food would be too expensive. At the festival itself, we're only two stops away from Union Station to uh, Grand Central Market. So that's where we're gonna head out to and we're gonna get some food. It's about to be really cool. Uh, Max's first time there. My brother's never been there. Yeah, I don't know what to expect, but it just sounds like there's a good variety, so it's already good for me. Let's go. We got three for falafel, I think. Yeah. You want some? Four for falafel, five for falafel. You can be the one outlier, you can be different. You can oh pupusa sounds good, noodle sounds good. Do what you gotta do what you, do what you want girl, do what you want girl. Oh What'd he say? Oh he got his own he, He's got his own money. He's his own man! There it is dude. Literally not even right around the corner. Or literally right around the corner. I'm Kimberly got a Topo Chico over here. We got the whole crew, brother, sister. Oh, Maximiliano. That's why that's why they call him Maximiliano. <laughs> no, I don't want that. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> you think? You think tonight? We're trying to. Me? Oh, 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 Everyone said they're said manifesting. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's Scorpio season. Yeah. 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 Trying right try, try to manifest the Scorpio. Oh, yeah. you're right. Yeah. 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 I think it's going to be share, but whatever. You think? Share? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'd be down for share. Good. Day two. There's a wall of shoes over there. It's a slide. No, 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 over there. There's literally a wall of shoes over there. There is a slide right here, though. That, that's true. We're about to go check out the golf shop. Hold on to it. I have a small cream. Oh yeah. And then I have a small uh, brown. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like. I don't like this that, that yeah. as much as I like this. this. Is, these are fire, bro. This is honestly so gas. And this, if you hold up in the sun, this brown shiny, it makes like a, it makes like a gold shimmer to it. Oh. See that? And the okay. back shimmers on the yes. sun. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They're very fire. It, the embroidering is yeah. so much nicer too. Yeah. Whatever you want. Now let's get this. You just want this one? Yeah. I'll, okay. I'll get that. Yeah. Thank I like that a lot. No problem. You good on everything else? Yes. Thank you. Clara's where?
Sunglasses also got that that merch golf win. Bust down, 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 bust down
I wanna see you out there. Pick it up, now break that shit down. Speed it up, now slow that shit down on the gas. Slow it down, bust it. Bust it down, bust it, bust it, bust it down on the gas. Do it still, he wet. Is it tight? Hey, but that nigga do it look tight. Hey, roll it on the red ball. Hey, now it says for it, damn. It might. We'll be fine right here. We already claimed this territory right here. You know what I'm saying? All these people have claimed have claimed their territory. Their patches of land. Huh? Wait. Carolina, Carolina, and Max just left. The outfit just like left. Hey, we'll meet you here. Chilling back here, dude. I got my fix. I'm good. Brockhampton was some next level shit. Uh, can I bring another friend out? Oh! Bring a friend, bring a friend. Who is this? <laughs> okay. What about those people who are waiting up at the front and they were like, I man, I'm gonna just break over. Look at that crowd. Damn. Massive. Make some noise for Tyler. Even loud enough. Make some noise for Tyler. Yeah. That old ass bitch. You know I run faster than you, right, Uzi? Like that's on the internet. I really appreciate every single person coming out to flog now again. Could I uh? Another friend out? Yeah! Give me your friends. Okay. Bring them both. Yeah. Nigga, we don't feel that. Fuck a fake friend, we your real friends at. We don't like to do too much explaining. Story stick. Same through the money and the fame. Oh, shit. Flog, no, what's up? How y'all feeling tonight? Make some noise for yourself. You've been killing this shit all night. I've been watching from backstage. Drake, in case you didn't know, my brother Tyler brought me here tonight. I'm just here to have a motherfucking party and give you a great time. I hope you're ready to turn up. Give yourself let's go. Goddamn! I don't usually do this unless I'm drunk or I'm high, but I'm off right now. Okay, left side, what's up? What's up? What's up? I don't usually do this unless I'm drunk or I'm high, but I'm off right now, and I need you in my life. Wow. Lukewarm finish the night. Everyone just kind of waited around after Drake finished and uh, it took them a while but they put this, this sign up after a few minutes. Maybe Frank failed last minute. Yeah, maybe he like flaked. Okay, reunited. What the fuck? Where's my refund? You guys look like squad gold right now. No, you know I'm so loyal to Drake. Yeah. I was the only one in every crew go, I'm like, yeah, every lyric, and yeah. me and Max were like the only ones hyping. You guys want to just start walking towards the exit? Yeah. Let's go. 
As you can see at the end, uh, towards the end of this video, uh, it gets a little hazy, right? It just kind of jumps straight from Brockhampton into uh, the little Uzi performance and there was actually one other artist that came on before Lil Uzi it was ASAP Rocky so there was a lot of speculation and rumors that Frank Ocean was supposed to be the surprise headliner which would make a lot of sense considering Tyler and him go way back to the odd future days you know they're both members of that same crew Frank Ocean had been releasing music recently so it wouldn't be too far-fetched and the fans really wanted to see it the problem was people said it in their minds that this was going to be the case. I'm sure some people bought their tickets believing with their whole soul that this was going to be the case. Finally, Tyler comes onto the stage, you know, he says, I want to bring some friends out. First he brings out ASAP Rocky. That was cool. After Lil Uzi, Drake came on the stage and where it started to get a little bit weird is that Drake was like, hey, what's up? Tyler brought me on. They want me to do two or three songs, similar to how ASAP Rocky and Lil Uzi Vert had done two or three songs. So he does his two, three songs. He asked the, the audience if they wanted him on and people thinking that, you know, there was still another performer afterwards, they, they booed him. To be perfectly frank, I was towards the back. So I didn't hear these boos. I only heard the like awkward, like, do you guys want me to keep going? And then him leaving. People are confused because they still thought there was another performer. So they're sitting, waiting around for a couple of minutes. People are still waiting. I'm even joking, like Frank Ocean, he's gonna, he's gonna come on. He, he's gonna come on when there's only like four people left, right? Just a private show for the true fans who, who waited it out. What ended up happening was that he ended his set like 20 to 30 minutes early, which is really, really unfortunate. It, it, it just was really weird. It was really weird all around. Even Tyler, the creator, in a couple of tweets recognizes that the decision to put Drake on was a little tone deaf. Let's take a look at some of the tweets. He said, I thought bringing one of the biggest artists on the planet to a music festival was fire. But flip side, a little tone deaf, knowing the specific crowd it drew, meaning his fans. Some created a narrative in their mind and acted out like assholes when it didn't come true, and I don't f with that. This guy did feel no ways, song is beautiful, also mostly everyone was having a great time. Those shits in the front area were the ones being mad rude, which I can see why, but nah, f that, y'all represented me and Flog to my guests and made us look so entitled and trash. And I have to agree, despite your expectations not being fulfilled, like no one promised you that Frank Ocean was going to be there, right? I didn't have to pay Drake ticket prices to see Drake, but then I got to see him. I mean, I paid for my festival ticket, obviously, but essentially I got to see him. That was a treat, that was a bonus. I got to see everyone that I went there for and, and then some, I got one of the hottest artists in the planet. I'm, I'm not Drake's biggest fan. I like some of his songs. I can't, I, I swear to you, I have never listened to a full album of Drake's, but I would have loved to have seen Hotline Blink. Started from the bottom was sick. Like the songs he played were great. You know, he's a good performer. He's one of the biggest artists of all time. You should just appreciate that. Not only that, but it like is so different to listen to someone live versus listening to them on their record. It is a whole different dynamic. I will say this, Tyler, the fact that you could not get to the front of the stage unless you were VIP is a little messed up. Normally at other music festivals, if you stick around a set or two before the artist that you wanna see, you could be right up at the front. You could be like smooching your favorite artist while they perform. But this was not the case at Camp Flogna. The entire front section was blocked off for VIP. That also came with its consequences. I'm willing to bet, and I, I mean, I know for a fact because I saw the audience that it drew, there was a lot of really young people there. And I can imagine that most of the VIP section was filled with teenagers whose parents bought them their VIP ticket. So they don't understand the value of money like that. Either way, you just don't boo, just don't do it. Whoever was booed, you ruined the experience for everyone else. You ruined it for me, and I'm not even a big Drake fan. He was supposed to play Hotline Bling next. I would have loved to see Hotline Bling performed live when I literally 
would not have gone to see Drake otherwise. You guys robbed me. You suck. Yeah, okay, an another thing is he says, I love that song and thought that would never happen. He really did that for me and I appreciate it because he did not have to come at all. See our worlds come together was so great in theory. To see our worlds come together in theory was great. Drake is one of his favorites. For Tyler to put Drake on his music festival that's been going eight years steady, like it's like a testament to everyone else. Like, hey guys, like look at how far we've come, you know? Him as a performer, as an artist, as you know, as a renaissance man, because I know he doesn't even want to be known as simply a musician, he's so much more than that. Along with his fans, because his fans allowed him to garner all this fame, his fans allowed him to reach a level where he's able to put on one of his idols as the headliner to his music festival. Just something to keep in mind, man. Like, act better, act better. That's pretty much all I have to say. If you enjoyed the vlog, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, I do a lot of interesting stuff on the weekend. I don't only go to music festivals. I am a competitive Smash commentator and player, so I'll be travel vlogging tournaments and just, you know, random stuff. And be sure to tune in for the next one. Actually, uh, if you guys can see, there's a box right there. I didn't think I was gonna get them, but I picked me up a little something from the festival. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do an unboxing and a bit of a review, just kind of talk about my thoughts on Tyler the Creator and these shoes. So if you want to see these shoes, just stay tuned on the channel and it'll be one of my next videos. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my rant and the vlog as well. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.